In this video, I'm going to show you the data cleaning technique of filtering out non-adjacent columns using a single formula. So as you can see here, we have a large data set and on my filter tab, I've been able to filter out all of the different columns that I find important with one formula. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and to start this video, um, basically what we have here is just a complete data set. And this data set actually comes from the Hawken Dynamics force plates and I've just imported um, the CSV file and in a previous video I've showed you how to do that. But essentially what we've done is just imported this CSV file and as you can see, there is quite a lot of data generated from that file as well as if I scroll down, there's quite a lot of rows of data generated. So when we start to clean up any sort of data before we use it for analysis, we basically want to separate out what's important from this large data file. So very rarely would we want to look at all of the columns of this data. We may only care about a few of them. Like there's a few things here, for example, test ID here from uh, on the A column and then um, the time in the C column and then the tags um, column is empty in this case and then the segment and position are both empty. So in order to clean up our data, we probably want to just filter those out and just keep a couple of the metrics that we found um, relevant. Now what you could do is you could easily just go through and sort of delete um, these columns. So if I was to kind of hold this down and select these columns and then right click um, delete, we could delete all those columns. Um, but then once we went to add more CSVs or more data to this, um, it would automatically just add those columns back in. So the way that I like to do it is either create a separate sheet or create a separate um, tab and then use a formula to just basically pull out the values that I find um, relevant. So to do that, all I'm gonna do here is down in the tab section, we'll create um, another tab for lack of a better term, I'm just gonna call it filter view. And then in this tab, it's blank. And what I'm gonna do is enter a filter formula. So I could go like this and go equals filter and then select a range. And maybe I just wanted to filter out the time. And then if I close this off, it's gonna give me an NA error because I didn't give it any arguments. But maybe for time, I just put um, the time again and maybe greater than um, zero. So like that, and then right away, we can get all of our columns. And this would work really well. I could maybe go column C all the way to let's say F and then do it again and you can see it gives me multiple columns. But the problem here is that I have to take columns that are adjacent to each other and that won't really solve my problem of wanting to say, take out the segment, position, tag, um, et cetera. I wanna just be able to pick out a few columns um, that I find relevant. So to do this, we're gonna use the same filter formula. So I'll just delete this one, go back up into my formula bar, and I'm going to type in equals filter, open this up, and then the first thing I'm gonna do is put in a squiggly bracket, okay? So the squiggly bracket um, tells Google Sheets that we are now dealing with um, basically a group of values or um, I believe it's making it into what's called a matrix. And from here, I'm going to hold down the control, go back, pick out the ones that I want. So control, maybe I want the name, maybe I want um, the type, maybe I want the system weight, jump height, and let's say breaking RFD. So you can see we now have squiggly bracket and then I have um, column D to D and I have column G to G, column J to J and so on. And they are separated out by a comma. At the end of this, I will close it, the squiggly bracket and then comma. And I want to filter those out when D to D, which is the name column. And I'm gonna signify is not blank by does not equal um, which is two basically arrows opening up towards each other and then double quotation quotations equals does not equal blank close this all off and when I hit enter what you're going to see now is I have all of those um, values 
and I filtered out non-adjacent um, columns. Albeit, I accidentally put this in the wrong space. It should be um, in A1. So if I just drag that up there, I should be able to move that around, right? So because we've used this filter function, it gives us a lot of different options. So you can see down here, we have a bunch of names called practice because this was from just a de-identified data set. And maybe I don't want those in my clean data. So I can take this again, this um, video name basically, and I can put another condition on it of that. And when it does not equal in quotations practice and quotations again, when I hit enter, doesn't look like anything's changed, but those practice um, names have been um, deleted. So this is just a quick trick to help you start to filter out some of your data. What I would recommend is if you are dealing with raw data sets like this, that you take one and you leave it in its raw form, but then just start to filter out whatever is important to you based on the analysis that you wanna do. So I hope that this trick helps you out. And if it does, if you could please like and subscribe to the channel, as well as share this video, that helps YouTube show the video to more people so that I can continue to create more videos and help more people out with their data. So with that said, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.